Tracy Beckerman is the author of the popular humor column Lost in Suburbia, and now you can read her hilarious take on married life with kids in Rebel Without a Minivan Observations on life in the burbs. And let me tell you, it's hilarious. Now, we figured who better to ask about the top five ways to be a cool mom in the burbs than Tracy. So, Tracy, what is tip number one? Well, before we get to that, yes. let me first say, obviously, you are not a mom, so you can't relate to what I'm, I'm about to say. But I have personally experienced a number of these, okay. so I want viewers to benefit from, you know, my failures here. And I'm, I'm married to a mom, and I have a mom. Okay, so, so maybe she can relate. Yeah, there we go. Okay, number <laughs> one tip for being a cool mom in the suburbs, jettison the mom jeans. Oh, there yeah. is a lovely picture of me. Thank you for digging that one up. That's um, not you. I, that's me. Really? <laughs> in my mom jeans. Now, I can understand wow. the confusion with mom jeans. You think if there are pleats in the front and they're loose in the caboose, that they're going to be much more flattering on your post-baby body, make you look smaller? All right absolutely wrong. This is the opposite. Um, mom jeans make your butt look so big that astronauts can see it from the International Space Station. Wow. I swear is to God. True? Yeah, uh, but this is not a good look for anybody. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Especially, you know, women who have childbearing hips. Jettison the mom jeans and also stay away from the velour sweatsuits. You know, if you're over 35 and you've had a couple kids, you don't want to stay juicy on your butt. Yeah, a lot of these I'm not going to say I'm not going to say a word to because I don't want to offend anybody. But yeah, that's okay. hilarious. And you right. can you can say that because, like you said, you are a mother. Yeah, no, not juicy. Okay, number two, just say no to Uggs. No, I thought Uggs were cool. You know, Uggs are cool if you're a kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but we're talking Uggs and Crocs like on a regular basis yeah. every day. Crocs yeah. are for people who work in hospitals. Uggs are for people who live in igloos, you know, and also they're the footwear of choice for children, which should tell you something. So unless you are a child, a doctor, or an Eskimo, get over it. Away from the Uggs. Lose as the Uggs. As comfortable as they may be. Yeah, right. Gotta there there are many it. other okay. kinds of shoes that you can actually choose from. They're also comfortable and keep you warm. And right? are not Crayola colored rubber or sheepskin. There you go. Okay. Number three. <laughs> All right, this is what my personal favorite. Okay. Do not, do not drive in your bathrobe. Yeah, now, this is kind of surprising. Yeah, well, when, when, when you live in the city and you have to get up early to take your kids to school, you're going to put on actual clothes to do this. But when you live in the suburbs, you may be inclined to roll out of bed and just drive the kids to school in your jammies or your bathrobe. Thinking I'm just going from point A to point B. Yeah, right. don't do it. Because the first time that you do this, you're going to get a flat tire or you're going to get pulled over by a cop. And then you will forever be known in your town as the crazy bathrobe lady. Somebody will find out. Yeah, so this is a bad thing. By the way, this did happen to me. Oh, wow. And yes, what a this, nice bathrobe. this is the bathrobe wow, I was hot. wearing. Isn't that, that is nice? Hot, yeah. yeah, it's on like wanted it posters all over New New Jersey. <laughs> okay, so that's my bathroom. Number four. Number four. Okay, read the news. Mm -hmm. It'll give you something intelligent to talk about with your friends. Many moms I know suffer from this condition called um, diaper conversationitis. Really, it is the inability to have a conversation that does not include your children or cleaning products. Okay, this is fine if you're a nanny or a housekeeper, but if you want to be a cool suburban mom, read the news and then you'll have scintillating topics to discuss, like healthcare reform or, or Kate Goslin's hair. Yes, and I concur with that one. Okay, I like good. that one a lot. Okay. And last but not least, number five. Be a rebel without a minivan. Look at that. It's the name of my book. <laughs> uh, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate mail for this, but you cannot be cool in a minivan. I'm sorry. I know that it is incredibly convenient, and people are going to disagree with me, but if you're driving a minivan, you might as well just put a sign on your bumper that says, I give up. You know? Um, <laughs> You can fit as many kids in an SUV as you can in a minivan, but you can get a hybrid SUV. You can't get a hybrid minivan. Absolutely. And then you can be cool and be green. And if you really, really must drive a minivan, get one of these to put and that's it on the Tracy, side of your car. Thank you so much for joining Thanks, us. Thanks, yeah. Great book. Make sure to check out that book, Rebel Without a Minivan. And after the break, everything you wanted to know about American-made cheese and more. Like, if a cheese smells bad, why does it taste so good? Hanging out with the Groovaloos, I'm gonna learn how to do a moonwalk. Check out flips. I'm not gonna learn how to do that though. Watch your head. I'm lurried.